When I started this rebrand of the channel, it was with the intention of only doing FPS content. Milsim games and overall just first person shooters are the games I've grown up on, with the classic MW2 being the first real FPS game I got really really into, sort of. If you've been around, you'll notice that occasionally I slip a game in that isn't a shooter game, and let me tell you something, that's not only intentional, but also well needed for my sanity. And if you're anything like me, you probably need that break too. Hey guys, it's Poet, and today we're going to talk about why it's important to have a break game. You know, I'm not an idiot, uh, despite popular opinion. Uh, I think I can read some people's minds, because I'm, I'm hearing a lot of, uh, No shit, Sherlock! One genre of game will make your mind melt! But honestly, I know how it is, okay? I'm a gamer too. It, it happens. I get bored with Arma 3, and I move to Ready or Not. I get bored there, I move to Destiny 2. Sure, all those games have different premises, hell, sometimes entirely different universes. But, alright, just stay with me, alright? Because the butt's there. They're all FPS games. That main element of being the dude with the gun, getting the bad guys, or being the bad guys, is the same. While I'm all for you playing the games you enjoy, I also believe everyone should be open to new experiences. I'll give you an example with myself because throwing you guys under the bus and putting myself up on a pedestal is just not how I roll. Growing up, I always thought that The Legend of Zelda was a baby lame game. Probably because my frontal lobe wasn't fully developed, and I was incapable of forming a smart thought, let alone one of my own. I didn't play that series for years, until the Switch came out, when I was practically forced to play it, because the Switch launched with like, maybe six games total, I can't remember exactly how much. Me being me, I was initially annoyed that there were no bad guys to blow away with my ginormous firearms and or explosive devices. Then I started playing the game. What the fuck? Not only did I figure out that I was horribly wrong about my assumption of The Legend of Zelda, but I also found a game where I could not absolutely destroy people with firearms and still have an enjoyable experience. And sure, Breath of the Wild pushed the envelope for what a Zelda game was supposed to be or what it meant to be, but that introduction to that world was enough for me to go back through and play some of the classics and realize what I had missed out on for so long. Going back through also gave me time, in more ways than one, to think about my FPS game bias. After thinking about it for a while, I came to the conclusion that, yes, I love this one genre of game over all others, and the Milsim tactical shooter or even just regular COD-like shooters would be my favorite type of game probably forever. Until I die, probably. But without a break from those types of games, they lose their flair. I never realized it as a kid, but the times when I wasn't playing, like, Black Ops 2 Zombies or multiplayer, I was playing Xbox 360 Minecraft or Little Big Planet, games where I could just turn my mind off for the most part and not have to worry about where the Predator missile was going to hit on the map or, uh, you know, if Sweat Lord McGee on the enemy team is going to drop a nuke or what whatever the hell he's going to do over there. And while in the older Call of Duties, and the new shooter games are good in their own rights. I just think that without having those other games to play, without other options to decompress from the shooter genre, I don't think that all of the other shooter games that I have been playing would be as memorable as they are. Even just as recently as during the days of quarantine where most of the big games out there were FPS games, primarily Warzone, the one that I played the most then was Escape from Tarkov, and while I have good memories from that time period, as good as they can be, the majority of them come from the Minecraft servers my buddies and I ran through that time, not Tarkov or Warzone or whatever other shooter games were out. And just to preface again, this does not aim to just point out shooter games being the primary, you know, bad guy of this entire story you know it could be any game that you play even i got tired of the the games that i played when i was taking a break like you know we play minecraft for a week and i get bored of minecraft so it was time to go play shooter games because they were fun 
and whenever the shooter games became not fun again, we just went back to Minecraft. And I feel like without that back and forth, you know, the break from one game, going back to another, it made, or still makes, I suppose, making that switch a lot more refreshing. Going from sweating your ass off in Call of Duty to just being in a cave on Minecraft or a chill risk of rain to run more examples from some older videos like my kingdoms and castles love that game whenever nobody's on and i just want to sit there and have like terminal brain rot it's just an incredible feeling and i know probably a large majority of people already do this without realizing it or maybe they even do and this video is just kind of pointless but i also know a lot of other people who just play one type of game way up to the point where when they boot it up they actually literally ask themselves and whoever else is there why they're doing it i'm guilty of it too believe me there are games i boot up and i'm not sure why i'm doing it i know i'm about to have a bad time but i want to play it why and from my experience when you start to do that you just really need to take a step back and give that game or the entire game genre that that game is in a rest so the takeaway from my app fest take a break set down whatever game you're grinding out pick up a new one hell maybe pick up an old one just branch out so you don't burn out if you made it this far tell me in the comments what games you use to decompress i'm interested to see how people continue to game without playing their main games it's always kind of like an interesting you know like experiment when your friend says oh i'm on this game when they're primarily known for a game that is completely different I, I like it. I like seeing people's um, video game diversity, I guess. It's the only phrase I can think of. If you like the content, think about liking the video and subscribing, or maybe think about disliking it and telling me I'm a poopy head or something. I, I don't know. Do whatever the hell you want. Either way, this is all I've got for this one, so I'll catch you guys next time.